I messaged her, hey, Raylan's in the hospital. Again, might not be able to make it to class. People ask about, can you juggle Elmhurst with life? It has been a crazy few days. Raylan went into the hospital Monday at like, I don't know, 1 a.m. Monday morning, so Sunday night. And she was there, we were in the ER basically until Monday morning at a reasonable hour, like 9 a.m. And then had a busy day at the hospital with people in and out because she just got on the floor. And then Tuesday, she was still there. She had some respiratory stuff. And then Wednesday, she was supposed to go home, but we broke her feeding tube. The, the, they accidentally clogged it with meds Tuesday evening. So her feeding tube broke Tuesday night and she didn't sleep good Tuesday night because she was getting used to nasal BiPAP. And then Wednesday, we had to go see interventional radiology, of course, before we could go home because her feeding tube got broke. And I had three online classes that I kind of juggled in between all that. I missed a good chunk of one online class, which teachers were very understanding. I need to post even. People ask about, can you juggle Elmhurst with life? And most everyone I have interacted with in Elmhurst has been very understanding and, and great to work with. Dr. Brennan is teaching our final class test taking strategies and you know I messaged her, hey, Raylan's in the hospital again because she was in the hospital during my ICU type rotation and uh, might not be able to make it to class. I mean they were all so if you can't make it it's no big deal. Um, I was able to. There was enough like she came back from interventional radiology at one, I had a class at one, so I sat and listened to the class. And then at two, after my class was over, they were finally about done with paperwork, so it worked out. And then as soon as I got home, I actually had five o'clock class. So yesterday, anyways, was just nuts. It was driving to St. Driving home from St. Louis, going to four hours of Zoom class total. Only I only made it to like three hours and fifteen minutes of those four hours. You know, getting discharged, stopping by hospital pharmacy, just. It just was a nuts day. But teachers are very understanding. And Dr. Brennan wrote the nicest email back when I said, you know, I might miss class. And it's those little nice things. And she was over the top nice. I don't think, I don't think I deserve the high compliment that she gave. But when people say stuff like that, it just gives you a little extra oomph, a little ready to tackle stuff. And I do think that the people at Elmhurst, they want, they want you to be able to succeed and get your nursing degree while juggling whatever your busy life may entail. And you're going to have to make sacrifices. As a matter of fact, I, um, I cut back on Play Talk Grow. That's my online English classes. And then with Raylan's latest hospitalization, I made the decision, I'm really just going to stop all together at least until I'm done with my nursing classes. Uh, we just have, life's kind of crazy with three teenagers and Raylan and, and school. So yes, you have to make sacrifices and that's a financial sacrifice, like bye-bye income from that. Um, hello student loans from school. So can you do this program or another ABSN long distance program if you, you know, live somewhere where it's hard to get to nursing classes? Yes, you can do one of these. And these are the, if you're a really, really busy person, Elmhurst is one of the best ones or any other like long distance one that helps you find clinicals near your home because you're gonna have the most flexibility with what days you do your clinicals and when you do your clinicals. Not unlimited flexibility, but the most flexibility with these kind of programs and your classes are gonna be online which cuts out all your drive time to and from campus. Yeah, and I'm almost done. Chris can't wait either because it's been a lot of sacrifice for him too. I would say the people the people you have in your life that help you do things, they also need to be supportive if they're like, what are you doing? You're crazy, you don't have time for that. And they're who you count on to help you babysit your kids or something, you probably, you shouldn't do it until you have your support people on board too. But um, the school will be supportive. That is, to me, not a question. I'm in a WhatsApp group with with 
almost all our classmates, if not all of our classmates in that group. And you know, there's complaints. It's a new, it's a new program. We're the second cohort to go through it. There's going to be hiccups. Honestly, any nursing program is going to have hiccups. And I feel like most of them are related to clinicals. And that's the most unsure thing of this program is what kind of clinical experience are you going to have? Because it's different for everyone, but it really is like to me, the most flexible program. And if you want to be involved in your clinical placement, I have had, especially the first few rotations, a lot of luck getting involved with my clinical placements. I hope that they will continue to encourage that and allow that involvement with with students and picking where their clinical rotations are is they get more relationships with hospitals they may be more quicker to say hey we already we already have this lined up you, you're gonna go to this hospital I hope they don't do that because some of my favorite things was getting to see our local little bitty rural critical access hospital and how they do things because I'm interested in you know rural rural critical access that's that's where we get help and uh go into the drug and alcohol rehab place i i could see myself working there one day i'm so glad they let me do clinicals there and see what that job was like that's definitely a plus of the program so that's my random thoughts guys life has been crazy busy lately i have energy just knowing how close i am to the end and that is energizing but even with that I mean you have to make sacrifices you have to cut things out oh it's exhausting right now but we're gonna make it